All right, guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at Brawlhalla patch 7.06. Actually, not 7.04, my bad. Um, the Cassie skin he added, some people don't like it. I've heard people say that it looks extremely similar to Cassie, like the regular Cassie skin. A lot of people say that the new emote looks extremely similar to the Battle Pass emote we've had. With the only difference is like one is holding a flower and one isn't. These new avatars, they're cool. I don't really ever buy avatars. Let's just like go. I'm, I'll never sit there and spend mammoth coins on an avatar. I just don't see the point in doing that. It's just like the biggest waste of mammoth coins in the whole universe. So now we're going to do like a little like, color showcase on the new Cassidy skin. It's okay. I don't really hate it. I don't really like it. I just think it's decent. Overall, an update is an update in Brawlhalla. And we can go a hot minute without getting updates, so I can't really complain. I really have nothing else to say about this Cassie skin, to be honest with you. It's just the Cassie skin in my eyes. I've seen better skins. But now, we're going to go look at something else that they've added. That's very cool. So if you go to Meet the Legends now, all the characters have anything that was needed in a Battle Pass mission for that specific character is now shown. So BCX winners for 2v2, 1v1, and all that. They also added this new test feature to when you do enough damage to a character, it now shows an animation when they lose their weapon. Which I know some people will actually forget when they don't have their weapon or not. They added some new challenges for people to learn combos like the Qatar Halfpipe, carrying people off the stage with battle boots, and more. I feel like these are a very nice addition to the tutorial system and I hope they keep adding more things to this. But overall, that covers the update.